The Papa Blick 4-in-1 bassinet is designed to adapt and grow with your baby. This versatile bassinet can effortlessly transition between a co-sleeper, cradle, and play yard. With its adjustable features offering six heights, the Papa Blick bassinet seamlessly aligns with your bed, granting easy access for feeding or soothing your baby. The Papa Blick Bluetooth portable baby swing features five natural rocking speeds and three reclining position that mimics the feeling of rocking in mom's or dad's hand. It soothes baby and keeps them comfortable and quiet. I'm super excited until baby girl's arrival. He want the scoop, she want the tea, she want the tea. I cannot speak, we keep it in street, we keep it in street. I took a loss, but you still gonna get beat. You still gonna fit. How much it costs? It never been cheap. Alright guys, so in this video, I am just going to show all of my Forex beginners the most easiest trading strategy that you can implement into your current strategy so that you can continue to be profitable. This is the strategy that I use on a daily basis every time that I get into any market, whether it be indices, whether it be regular Forex trading pairs, whether it be futures, anything that you want to trade, this strategy works, okay? Now, now first things first, if you are new into, if you are simply new to trading altogether, I would highly recommend you to join my trading community. It is free. This community is where we, of all people, whether the difference of statuses and things in that nature of your trading experience or expertise, we come together and we just basically give each other the education that um, we need, the support that we need, the emotional support, um, all of that is within the community itself. And then also, we also share ideas um, such as trading ideas. Um, you know, what pairs are you currently trading? I typically like to trade my US 30. So I typically send out at least one to two trading ideas um, throughout the week. Um, per day. And it has been very beneficial. Um, so if you haven't already, go ahead and go join the trading community. The link is within the description. And also a lot of you guys are asking me what broker I am currently using. I am currently using Fintora. That is also in the description as well if you are ready to sign up and get started. Um, but other than that, let's get into this most simple and easy um, trading strategy that I use that you can literally turn um, hundreds into thousands and you could turn $10 into thousands if you are committed and you stay consistent. Okay. So first things first, guys, I always like to look at my older time frames to see what is the overall trend for the day. Okay. It's very important that you look at the overall trend because with this strategy, you want to work with the trend, not against the trend, okay? It's very important. So the first things that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the day chart and I'm going to look at the overall trend. As you can see, the overall trend is an uptrend and this is US 30 right now, okay? So this is an uptrend, all right? So then I'm going to look at my four hours and just double check to make sure that it is still up going into an uptrend. As you can see, it is still an uptrend. And then I'm gonna look at my one hour. And as you can see, it's a little bit different. However, it is still an uptrend. And then last but not least, I like to look at my entry level um, minute chart, which is the 15 minutes. And as you can see here, we have an ultimate um, uptrend right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these trends. And first things first is I'm going to go ahead and start marking on my older time frames. I like to go ahead and look at the four hour time frame and then go based on there. Um, how I mark my um, charts, it's basically the simple supports and resistant lines. Okay. Um, I am using the horizontal line and I like to look for my flat bottoms my flat tops, or I like to look at the same wicks um, for my candles 
or I'm looking for a harami candle. Um, basically, a harami candle is going to be a small candle like this compared to a longer candle, okay? So those are typically the three candle types that I'm looking for when I am putting or placing my support in my resistant lines. So here it is here. So I'm going to go ahead and just place my support and resistant lines. And just for example, guys, I typically like to have all of these support and resistant lines simply because I like to be where the market is. And as well as if you are a beginner trader, you want to be very cautious when it comes to your take profit, as well as your entry point of when you get into the market. Um, with my strategy, I typically always do pending order transactions due to the um, busy schedule that I have. So I cannot just um you know solely look at the market 24 7. um so i analyze the market for roughly you know 20 to 30 minutes and i place a pending order and then i just come back to my uh my trading um analysis to see if it you know hit my stop loss or if it has hit my tp um with these supports and resistant line I want to make sure that I'm within the market. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the one hour. And as you can see, the one hour is a little bit different. So I like to go ahead and just add one more here. And then I'm gonna go to my 15 minute. All right, and then as you can see, the 15 minutes is a little bit different as well. I'm gonna go ahead and place one up here because it is the same. And then just right here, I like, as I stated to you guys, I like to be within where the market is at. Um, ideally, you could do it right here, but that wouldn't be as many pips um, or profit as you would like, depending on the actual lot size that you're using. If you're using a 10 cent lot size, that's not gonna be as much. So based on this alone, guys, looking at the 15 minute, as we already identified that it is an uptrend, we are going to be looking for more buy opportunities rather than sell opportunities. And that is the easiest thing, guys. You don't want to go into a market where you have to do buy or, or sales at the same time. You want to stick with where the market is going just to make it simpler for you and just more beneficial because if you're focusing on one thing, you're able to get better at it. If you're doing two or the other, then it's, it's, it's going to be too much for you. And I'm saying that because I know from experience, okay? So the next thing that you want to identify is what entry point are you wanting to get into the market? My pending order for a buy stop would have been here at 39075.8, right? And then I would have my TP for 39149.7. So before this act this candle actually surpassed this line, I would have been had already gotten in for a buy stop at that that location for the entry level of 39074 it does not have to be 0 0.8 you can do 39074 and then my tp would have been here at 39148 right now i can look at the one hour and see the same thing this is where the line is at for my um tp for the 15 minute as you can see we're looking at the areas of where the market has been before because the market is very, very, very repetitive, okay? It's very, very repetitive. So it's very important that, you know, you have the support and resistant lines here because this is ideally the most simplest and easiest way to set you up for success. Once you master this simple strategy, I'm telling you guys, Forex is going to be a breeze for you. As long as you don't over leverage your accounts, you are going to grow your accounts from tens to thousands to more and Forex can definitely change your life. So I hope that this video was very informative for you. And I wish you the best of luck in trading for the year of 2024. 
If you haven't already, go ahead and go like, comment, and subscribe to Girls Channel because it is what? It is free. And I'll see you guys in the next video.